So the, this season wasn't, of course it wasn't just driving, so Audi Sport had their photographers in every race and they were, or, or, or everywhere, so they were taking pictures and now after the season has finished I decided to make a collection of my own 10 favorite photos of the year and so here they are. Okay, so here is the first photo and yeah, we started at the Overjoch with the fitness camp and the picture is from the hill run we had. So we ran a roughly seven kilometer run up to a hill and the elevation difference was seven, 500 meters from start to finish. So yeah, so of course fitness is important in the sport and it was working as a way to measure our fitness at the point and yeah I think it you can see very well all the scenery and everything and all the elevation difference already in the photos so and also the way that you really push for the push for the push on push to your limits. Another essential part in uh, during the season was uh, media training so before the first race weekend, we had two days of media training in uh, first in Neckarsulm and then uh, at the manufacturer place of the R8s. And we learned a lot because I think it was really cool to learn everything ready because during the season we had a lot of interviews and we had to meet, meet up with the fans. And I think it was a great way to prepare ourselves to, to just know what we, how we act in different situations. And, Oh, and I really thought, think it had a great impact in uh, the way we, the way I performed in these interviews and fan trips. Yeah, so the next picture is from uh, the, our track walk in Hockenheim, and uh, yeah, you can see our our coach Marcus is there with. And I'm with uh, Nikolai and Jan, so it was great to see uh, from Marcus to learn what he has. He has a lot of experience from the tracks and he really gave some inside views. And of course, from also from Jan and Nikolai, as they're more experienced and knew the tracks before. So it was, it was, it was a lot of, it was very beneficial to hear from them and all of them and just to suck up all the information and try to put it at work. and. Yeah, the track walk was not really only being so serious, but yeah, as you can see from the picture, a bit of fooling around and having a bit of fun before the race weekend starts to just loosen up, loosen up and have a bit of fun and not to be so serious all the time. So it's, uh, it's great in both educational reasons as also to a bit of a social meeting before the race weekend. Next pick is the one from Norris Ring and from the picture I like the fact that it has all the atmosphere and uh, it describes very well the uh, street circuit which was the first for me in my career so it was it was an awesome experience to see how close everything is and the paddock is integrated into the city and the fans are really close and it's all packed and the atmosphere is just you can't really describe it with over 100,000 fans over there in a, such a small, small area. So it was a cool weekend and I think one of the best experiences this year. <clears throat> okay, so the next one describes very well the function of uh, our helpers. So from the picture you can see that this is from the qualifying and you can see that there's an immediate immediate uh, feedback and I think it was works really well that we have a, a good team over there and everyone knows what they're doing and the helper has a great has, has always some great views about the driving and everything and he can really just give me the feedback straight away and then I can see where to improve and and I think this was uh, one of the main factors that in the end of the season we were a lot faster.
The next pick is from uh, the final race in Hockenheim where I clinched my first victory. So, of course, you really don't have to say anything else about it. The feeling was just amazing to finally, after, especially after the Nürburgring crash, to be back and win. And I just really can't say anything more to this. This picture really well describes the Audi Sport family we had this year. So after the races, everyone calls their gives and we talk a bit and everything that we're such a close group, even though we're racing against each other. And the way all the guys from the, from uh, all, for all guys working in the TT Cup were so enthusiastic and they were really cheering for everyone. It's just, an amazing feeling to be working and the guy here is the project manager and he was he was there also to congratulate me after the first win and it's 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 really nice to be a part of this kind of where everyone is supporting everyone even though we're fighting for the win and uh, yeah Yeah, so the next pick illustrates well one of the aims of this season. So one of my aims was to lead a race and here we can see from the first start in Hockenheim or the final round in Hockenheim in the first race I'm leading the race before during the safety car. So after dropping to second in start and then getting my place back in the second corner and then leading the race for almost almost to the end. and. This describes how we can, we achieved our achieved our goals during the season. This pick ties in with the one I told about the media training and getting to know the fans and how to cooperate and talk with them. And I think this is a really cool pick with the, that the describing also the fan culture in Germany and Austria. So. It's just amazing that even me, being 17 years old, they come with the, their autograph books and uh, with pictures maybe dating back to even 2008 and asking for autographs. It's unbelievable, and uh, I think this is this is just simply amazing to have this kind of dedication from the fans also. So I did my best to work and just to give every everyone every fan what they wanted and. Last but not least is uh, the picture from Hockenheim at the podium with the champagne and it's just like the picture where I celebrated my first win. This is, this is just an indescribable moment and uh, the taste of champagne after hard work and after a hard year I could even, more, even say so was just uh, really, really hard to describe.